It's time for Box Boys. Sup, bitch. Hello. Hi. Is, is that how I reply to sup, bitch? Just, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot about you. Yeah, I think it is. Just, um, welcome to Box Boys, which actually won uh-huh. the Instagram poll. It got the official, 52 yes. cents. Mm. So, so and it was unlike the winner. Brexit, there was not problematic interference from dark money and possibly Russians, uh, unless there was, in which case, please tell us and we will make it lockdown lads next week. Um, Dan, I, I think there was some, I think there was some shady business. I'm not sure what it was, but that poll, it just creeped over to Box Boys at the last minute. And I don't trust I, something that happens so fast. I think by default, anyone who is listening to this is shady and has therefore committed a shady act even by having an opinion on what this should be called. Hi, by the, the way. Hello. Hello. Hello to everybody listening on this yeah. beautiful Thursday evening. And thank it you is. for joining Dan and Phil on the Stereo Network on this week's edition of Box Boys. Box Boys. Box Boys. We shouldn't release an album because that was That was, was very two distinct um, sound aesthetics that clashed quite severely <laughs> there. I'm not sure that worked. Yeah. Um, well, I'm quite happy Box Boys won the poll, but I am less happy about your tweet, Dan, shunning all light whoa, mode whoa, users. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Apparently, I fired shots. I wasn't aware that this was an unpopular opinion because I guess I have taste. And yes. anyone who doesn't agree with that opinion is not valid which is why I might not have appreciated that, although apparently there are lots of freaks that like to use light mode on their apps. In case you're one of the three people on Earth who doesn't know this, your phone, your laptop, it has a feature where it makes things dark. It's better for your eyes, okay? Living in a world where everything is a bright white light is disturbing, frankly, and it's not acceptable. And as much as I'm attacking anyone on the internet, I'm attacking Phil, who is sat (laughs) here right now. Hey, let me just give you my case, all right? So I use, actually, evening mode on Twitter, or whatever it's called, like blue mode, which isn't fully dark. It's like a nice, Mm. relaxing, Mm. navy blue. When I'm on Chrome and doing businessy emails or things to do with editing i need to so say why are you why are you being nervous when you're talking about what you get up to using the chrome browser well the incognito tab is dark so i don't want to get confused and think i'm looking at something i shouldn't supposed to be looking at at different parts of the day i don't know whether you clarified your position or exposed <laughs> your position there uh, I, don't know. I think sure. i exposed it In I, ex- summary, I exposed it uh, if if you have a warm feature on your device, use it. Save your eyesight. Don't be like Phil. Yeah. L- use really. dark use dark mode for more pleasurable activities like Twitter, incognito browsing. F- well, Phil, what do you get up to on Twitter? Do you have a secret Twitter, Phil? Phil no, do you have I a just secret horny on site Twitter. <laughs> Twitter? You no, do, I don't just... you? I wasn't using. One pleasure. day you're going to be horny on Main accidentally. I oh, wasn't my saying God. It... There's different forms of pleasure, Dan. There's like enjoyment of laughing at <laughs> dog tweets. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Why I'm do not, they all okay. start like this? Let's What's happening? Avert. Oh, look, we got some messages. Hey. Let's listen to one, Phil. Save us. Here we go. You play it. Happy Thursday, it. amigos. Hope everything's going well. <laughs> okay. Happy Thursday, Rizzo. I mean, Thank you for that message, Rizzo, although your tone was slightly sinister, and that's immediately it was slightly. Me So thank you for your message, uh, but not thank you for the way Good that you Good evening. It. You have officially just made my day by simply existing. Hello. <laughs> okay. Meg. Thank you. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the cat ears, Meg. That also made my day slightly better as well. Yeah, on the spectrum of sinisterness, that was a step up as well. Yeah, it was for sure. And one more. I agree. Uh... Whoever uses slide <gasps> mode, they they they're not my friend. They're they're not my friend at all. <laughs> You've got an ally. Jan, Jan coming in straight. Me and Jan versus the world. Get out. It's the Dan and Jan hour on Dan stereo. and Jan. Dan and Jan, Get that out, sounds Phil. better. Hey, yeah. speaking of Dan and Jan Thank you. And, yeah. and gen general names, did you see today they released the trending baby names for the next decade? 
How the hell do they know what? Okay, firstly, trending. What the hell does that? Shut up, everybody. I don't know. I don't How know. How do they know what baby names are going to be popular for the next ten years? I think they've lo- locked Yoda in a perspex box, and they're making him yeah. predict predict trending names. It's weird. If aliens a- invade in two years, and it's called Zorg, and it says everyone that doesn't name their child Zorg is going to die, then guess what? You didn't predict that Zorg is going to be on the list. Just it saying. Was, it was sinister, because it did say the next decade. I was like, how do you know, you weird scientists? What um, the baby names dot net know that we don't know? But some of you listening might already be on the list, so I thought I'd let you know what they are. But before right. that, I wanted to know right. from you guys... I wanted to know what you think <laughs> we would be called if you didn't know us. What would you name Dan and Phil? That's the topic. Oh, just based, changing based it. on our appearance. Judging yeah, us just based purely, on us alone. Absolutely just judging our appearance. What do you think our names uh, actually should be? Yeah, that's I a just good one. Don, Submit. Don and Fall. Well, I was writing that. Wait, I'm cha- I've changed it. It's okay. Dan and Phil. Don and Fall. That's a good first suggestion. All right. Here's yeah. Phil. What's supposed to be trendy? Uh, okay. So the top... A uh, girl's name on the list is Nelly. The elephant. Wow. Followed by Elodie, Anastasia, Margot, Aubrey. Anastasia as in the pop singer. And Ida. All my life I've been waiting for you to bring a fairy tale my way. Yeah. And it's de- definitely, I mean, that song from Anastasia alone is going to make more people call their children Anastasia. Get I out mean, of here, princess. Yeah. And also for for the lads, we've got mm-hmm. Chester, Levi, Chester Lester, Chester Levi Lester, Ackerman. Exactly. Yeah, I I would love to be called Levi. You know, he's cool. Yeah, he slices yeah. people up. Um, Hudson, Eddie, Ad- Miles, mm-hmm. Rio, yep. Vincent, Ooh. and Otis. Vin, you really have to. You're setting your child up for big expectations to pull off Vincent, but it is yeah. cool. Yeah, and and any of those, they could be gender neutral as well. Like I was about to Chester. say this. All Why right, is it just baby names for Christians. Dot org. Dot Zimbabwe. <laughs> what? Where's the list of gender neutral futuristic names? Where's yeah. the the Elon Musk Grimes name? Ziggity yeah. flickety be ball backward slash. Thank you. Any name Although, is great. And guess what? If you want to change your name when you're older because your parents had no taste, you do that. I do like Monty, which is also on the list. I'd quite like oh, no, to be a Monty. That's stripping. What do you mean that's stripping? Oh, like the full Monty. This Monty's yeah. listening right now. You, you can't insult any name, Dan. Are there? Be someone. Are yes. there? Right, right. Okay, sorry. No, according to this, there's 8,700 people listening. I fucking bet yeah. there is not a single Monty. I bet this. <laughs> I bet this. If you're this called three. Monty, tweet me a pic of your goddamn passport after this show. <laughs> and I don't know what I'll do. I'll shut up. <laughs> you will show up. But if you're um, pregnant, please call your child Monty. Um, okay. Because that would we've, be nice. Yeah. We've got our first suggestion of what we should be named. Frank oh, and William. You look like a Frank, Ooh. Dan. <laughs> you, okay. Frank! What was that laugh? What was that laugh? You, you look, look like a bit a like a Frank. <laughs> William is quite similar to Phil. Like, Philium, William, Phil and Will. So I could Too see how you get that. Phil and Will. Although single L supremacy, though, I mean, it's so much better to have a single L in your name than a double L's, Philip. You can fight me on Hip- that one. Hipster Phil's mum naming yeah. you without... Imagine if I was called Daniel with two L's. That's what your mum's like. That's attention-seeking. Yeah, speaking. just adding extra letters onto the go. Uh, we've got another one. Dan looks like a Josh, for sure. And then Phil... <laughs> you just look like Phil. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Oh. Maybe it means you've achieved pure authenticity, and that's great. That was such a long pause. It was. She was really thinking about that. Okay. Uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, they were. Uh, okay, one more. I, f- I feel like Dan's name would be Dylan, and Phil's name, I feel like if I were to look at him, I'd think of Benjamin. Not Ben. Benjamin. Yeah, definitely. Dylan. <laughs> Specifically. Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah. I, like, I, like a, I like a name Benjamin. Yeah, Dylan's quite cool as well. Lots of cool yeah. people called Dylan. I'm vibing with that. All right, let's get yeah. one more, and then we'll okay. legally change our names in the same sure. way that we actually changed the show to Box Boys. Okay. Uh, Phil so would be Lionel, and Dan would be um. I don't know. I kind of think he'd just name himself Box. 
or would be named Box. Yeah. <laughs> Box. What do I do with this information? Hey, I really like Lionel Lester, actually. I, I wish I oh, had a, a double L. That's better than Chester. No offense yeah. to the Chesters out there. Chester Lester, Lionel Lester. Um, Box as Howell. long as it's not Mo. No, as long as it's not Mo. <laughs> um, what I was wondering, though, Dan, before we move on completely, is do you do think you, you wonder would... things? Yes. Do you think I didn't you know that. Act... Do you think you would act differently if you did have a cooler name that wasn't Dan? Absolutely. I think I would be like entitled to um, confidence, yes, um, and acceptance, which I'm not familiar with. Honestly, like if I was called. Zach Stryker, for example. <laughs> Your go-to example. My go-to example. I think I would be like 20% Ooh. more confident. Yeah. Also maybe 20% more annoying. Yeah. And you're already I, pretty annoying. I know. I, I know I'm annoying. Kidding. <laughs> no, I am. Whoa. <laughs> I, I'm Whoa. Good in, I feel like I'm good in medium doses. Hey, Phil, you're good in high doses. You're good for a big, thick 45 minutes at a time. And that's Thanks. why we're all here, because we yeah. want the fussy. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. That was on a cake when my parents were there. Oh, yeah, your mum was like, what does a philosy mean? Philosy. Show me your philosy. Your philosy. I've had that in my head for years. Oh, Phil, we've so gone from 9,000 listeners to nine listeners. Oh. What did we say? I Can wonder we why. S- no, okay. Last thing that was in my head was bing, bang, bong, and I couldn't sleep. It ruined my life. If anyone watches did you Drag just, Race did UK... You, did you just bing-bang-bong me? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I bing-bang-bonged you and the rest of the people if listening. If you value sleep or being sane, do not watch Drag Race UK. All right. Well, that, uh, so, Phil... That one episode. Thursday is your day. So, what do you have planned? This is your agenda, your will to inflict upon the world and myself. So, yes. tell us, what, what is your vibe today? Tonight, my friend, it's game night. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to invent something on the fly, like that time you invented truth bombs when you were looking at a piece of paper? Um, no, I've got a game planned. I thought we could have a little warm-up of yeah. maybe two seven-second challenges, one to give each other, and oh, then God. we're going to hit the main game, okay? Yeah. All right, Dan, are you ready for your seven-second challenge? You've got seven seconds to name seven animals. Go! Uh, cat, dog, pig, uh, duck, hedgehog, ant eater, and trap! Uh, no, you ran out of time. Did I? <laughs> did I? I think you did. Did I lie? Did I lie? The ants eater was the one that ruined it for you, but I liked the uh, imagination behind that one. And the urgency and stress that the seven second challenge format gives you. I forgot that. That is really quite stressful, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have one for me or do you just want to move to the main game? I don't mind. Um, Phil. Yes. You have seven seconds to say the entire alphabet twice. Go. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, S, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, S, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, S, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, S, Y, Z, A, that's how they said it in the speed dimension. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not I'm I'm nice and warm now and I'm sure everyone else's ears are on fire after that rap god display. I'm I'm warmed up. Right. Today we are going to be playing <laughs> I'm scared. Something I'm very excited for. It's <laughs> who wants to be a billionaire. Ooh. Holy shit. Are you ready for this? Do we have to pay for this? I've stopped it. I've, u- I- I've used my five seconds. Um, we're doing Who Wants to Be a Billionaire? Oh, God. I don't know things. <laughs> okay. The questions you'll be happy Phil, to know are all about Phil, me. Phil, let me be dumb in peace. They're all about me. It's not general knowledge. You should know oh, answers about me. Bro, do you remember that time I totally ruined your quiz? Yes. This is your chance. I am the so ultimate filly. Okay, Dan, you are in the hot seat. There's going to be ten oh questions. Yeah. And your only lifeline is ask the audience. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. The twist People is listening, the... you better pull through for me. <laughs> yeah. 
okay. the twist is you have to use your lifeline three times and you have to take the answer from that audience member. All guys right, no listening, pressure to you guys. Yep. Only submit your answer when Dan asks for it because otherwise it, it won't get chosen for the questions. Okay? Sure. All right. Uh, I, I'll do to change the name to the, the thing. Who oh, I need to type very fast. Dan, do you have any questions about what's about to happen to you? You want me to fill time while you change the stereotopic and you're desperately fumbling with your bent on a tiny screen. Is that what you're saying? Yes, and we should exactly draw attention that. To how you want me to not be silent until you do that. Okay. I've done it. Who wants to be a millionaire? Damn it. Comedy and qu- quiz, lowercase. Right. <laughs> Because this is coming in with that uppercase energy, you know. 2021, last year was a year. We're looking forward, so we're going in with a lowercase Q because we, we we're are. not trying to hit you on a Thursday. Wherever you are, Mumbai to Melbourne, if you are choosing to spend a bit of your evening hanging out with Dan and Phil, we don't want to hit you with that uppercase Q energy. This is lowercase Q vibes. Okay, let's play. Who wants to be... A fillionaire. <laughs> the first question: Who is my <laughs> Who is my favourite character to main on Mario Kart? Is it Tanuki Mario, Shy Guy, <laughs> or Cat Peach? <laughs> um, I wasn't aware you that got, you had you... a main on Mario Kart. Don't we usually you play got... as our me's when we're online? No, you play as your me. I like to play as someone more than everybody else. This is this you, is you're fast. allowed to use Phil, to I, the I'm going to say Tanuki Mario. Final answer. Da, da, da. That's the correct answer. Woo! Ace, because Phil is a low key a... raccoon furry. I am a raccoon furry. I saw a thing on Twitter that said apparently you're a Mario Kart player might be able to tell your sexuality but i don't i don't remember what the answers were or what that led to um so maybe is aggressively hypersexual and Get... doesn't care where he puts it <laughs> tanuki mario is a furry also maybe at a, a convention gay. and he's yeah having a good time okay number two how many exclamation marks were in my first ever tweet Oh my god, okay. You're right there, soundboard. It's I three, am... I'm going to give you numbers. Is three, six, or nine? Uh, six to nine. I think that this is the kind of thing that several people listening to this know, so I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, we're going to ask the audience. Do you think it's three, six, or nine? Send a message right now just going three, or six, or nine. You know this. You know this information. Phil, I want to say I'm... while someone's sending this in, are we playing yeah. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire as in if I lose one question, the game's over? Because it's going to be a very short segment of the show no. this evening. The game won't be over. You're going we got one. To ha- You're allowed to fail once. If you fail more than once, you are not a fillionaire. But we're still right. going to do well, the quiz. Let's see if this is about to be cancelled by our first viewer. Here we go. 69... <laughs> Dorito. Angry Dorito. <laughs> that was not an answer. <laughs> that was not an answer. We need three. You had one job. I'm going to allow another one. Three, six, or nine. If they choose one, you're going to get Although... another one, and we're going to be like, "What's the answer?" <laughs> and they're going to say 420 XD. I mean, I like the I like the ingenuity of that one. It was. 69. I like the energy that they're bringing. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, here we go. There were nine. God, are you serious? No. Here right. we go. I know that you're a freak for exclamation marks, <laughs> but we're going to have to do this. Phil, were there nine exclamation marks in your first tweet? No, there was six. That is what? the wrong answer. <laughs> oh my, first ever my tw- God. My first ever tweet was, I don't even remember signing up for this, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Ah! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Sideways smiley face. That is an incredibly aggressive amount of exclamation mark per word you use them for ratio. I know. I've got an exclamation mark problem. Next. Which of these has not been a name of one of my childhood pets? Was it Rolo? Was it Norris? (laughs) Or was it 
Henry. <laughs> well, I know that you had a guinea pig called Rolo and a mm. hamster called Norris. So I'm going to say Henry. That is the correct answer, Daniel. You're moving on Basic to the next Phil's question. Yeah. yeah, Phil's knowledge. Um, Phil's Henry was actually, knowledge. Henry was my brother's hamster. Cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> next question. Phil, Phil, I just want to say, are you appreciating that you have found the one person plus 9,000 other people that are willing to indulge in you telling us that your brother's hamster was called Henry on a Thursday evening? Yes. Yes, I, I appreciate morning, all of you. If you're listening to this, wherever the heck you are, if you're listening to this in the middle of a, uh, a study session or your job while you're operating a forklift truck, you have made choices. You have Continue. made choices, and I, I'm happy yeah. with them. Okay, if I was sitting in the front seat, kicking in the back seat, got to make my mind up, which cupcake <laughs> would I choose? A red velvet, a pistachio, or a licorice? If anyone would choose licorice, apart from just one time for the novelty, they're choosing violence in their everyday life. I'm just putting that out there. Um, <laughs> I Pistachio is some a tasteful flavour, literally. Mm. But mm. I know that you're going to go for red velvet. That is... The correct answer. That sounded like a wrong answer sound, but it was the correct <laughs> answer. Yeah, I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would right. be tempted. I'd, I'd be tempted by the licorice because I do are love licorice. Are we playing licorice. for like Phil money right now? Do I get, do I get P-Bucks? You get one billion dollars. And what does that mean in Let's my life, Let's talk about that. Phil. Let's talk about that if you receive them, hey? Okay. Right. So there's no like, I've already got a thousand or thirty-two thousand. I either get a million Phil, Phil dollars or nothing. Yes. I'm do I, okay, here we are. Okay, question funf. What weird thing kept being advertised to me on Facebook? Mm. Ooh. Was it a onesie with a butt flap? Mm. A fake six pack to wear under my shirt. Yep. Or a bedazzled thong. Okay. We get a lot of weird adverts from companies that probably aren't real. And for yes. some reason, they're always kind of gay. So yeah. shout out to Zuck, who is somehow listening right now. He knows what stop, we need. Stop showing us weird gay crap. Okay, um, and I and I didn't think I'd ever say that. Didn't think I'd ever be in a place in my life where I have the confidence to not ask for it. Yeah, please, just give us adverts for like pot plants or something. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, it's the bum flap thing. It is the bum flap. Yeah. Well done. Um, yeah, Does that Panuki was really Mario weird. have a bum flap? I think he might. It was a thing that was honestly every time I went onto any website like Facebook or Instagram. I guess they're both owned by Facebook. You. It was it was the bum flap onesie, and it was crazy. I don't know why they wanted people to buy it. And then there's a whole news article about it that said it's not even real. So anyone that was ordering it wasn't even getting the flap that they wanted. Phil, the algorithm knows you want the flap and you just need to be yeah. at peace with that the, the thing is they wanted you to look at the bare butt in the picture and be like i want to see more of him oh and then click on it and then they got your email address yeah yes yes i didn't cyber click on it crime. honest cyber crime right i just want to remind you dan we're halfway through the quiz you've only used one ask the audience and there's five questions left two of we'll those, make them harder have bitch not my problem to ask the audience i went to university for how many years three four or five do I have to take the audience suggestion? Yes. Right. Can somebody who actually <laughs> can somebody who actually knows the answer to this please send a voice message just saying the number now. And if you're going to say 2 or 7 and you don't know how British university works, I really appreciate you listening. <laughs> <laughs> but like somebody who thinks they actually confidently know, please send a voice message and don't say sixty nine. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Okay, how many years did I go to university for, Phil? Uh, you went to university for three quarters of a year. 
hey, it was a whole year. Oh, yeah, it was a whole year, and then you dropped out. Yeah, the idea of going back to season two did not appeal. Okay. Um, so, do you think it was... What was my options? <laughs> Three, four, Am or I five? allowed to say what it was? No, not until we get the answer. Okay. I mean, I'm making this quiz up on the spot, so do you think that I should just let you be influenced by the person, or you have to take the person's answer? I think that um, I... Oh, God, here we go. Let's just listen. It's three, but, I mean, hope to God I'm right. Are we allowed to discuss whether I have to listen to the audience? Yeah, I've I've changed the rules, because it's not fair if someone just says a random one. Okay, It's not fair if these so-called fannies are not on the Dan level... Rose, you are correct that British people go to university for three years. However, Phil, on top of his English language and linguistics degree, did a master's degree in post-production. So he went to York University for four years. That is the correct answer. Yay. My soundboard is um, broken, so I am now the sound. How how would you, you, do you use your English language degree every day? I'm using it right now by speaking to you about a quiz. I would say that you can't speak or spell and you also don't know many words. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. Question seven. <laughs> On my Vibes shirt, which I wore in my coming out video, what colour <laughs> is the V? That is so hard. Okay, go on. Is it red, blue or yellow? I think it's red. Do you want to ask the audience, or do you want to go with red? You won't I be able to go with red. It's red! Congratulations! How do I know that? I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> Get a life, Dan. Right. Sure. Looking at it like... Anyway, next one. Eight. That's cheating. Anyway, go on. Which Yankee candle scent do I hate the most? Oof. Is it cinnamon stick... Lavender yep. or black yep. cherry? <laughs> right. I don't know what black cherry is. I don't know. Uh, I think cinnamon stick is quite Christmassy, so I can't imagine you not liking it. I know that you think that lavender smells like old ladies, but I am going to ask the audience. I want someone right now to either say lavender, cinnamon, or cherry, and I need you to just send that in. What do you think my nose won't like? Let us know. I do like... I, no, I'm not going to say anything. I was about to spoil it. You tell us about your favourite candle scent, Dan, while I sit here not spoiling my answer. I like smoky smells. I like Dan clean, always likes, fresh smells. Dan always likes the ones that smell like the room has burned down. I do not like fruity candles, and I do not like citrusy candles. No. Oh, we've got oh one. My God. Here we go. Cinnamon stick. Those ones are always too strong. That is so true. They stink of cinnamon, don't they? They really... I mean, what? I don't know. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm going to believe in the power of the listeners for no apparent reason. And I'm going to say those stinky, stinky cinnamon sticks smell too strong. The power of two. Go. It is cinnamon stick. Oh my god, they smell way too strong. I don't mind a hint of cinnamon. I don't mind like a little whiff of cinnamon. But when the entire thing is 100% cinnamon, that's when my nose starts to fall off. You don't want a flaming cinnamon challenge in your house. No, not at all. Um, But a little bit is fine. All right, you've got two questions left. Oh my god, I'm actually sweating. What cereal... Sorry, the cereal I got excited for on... (laughs) Online yesterday has a secondary flavor. It's Oreo cereal, <gasps> but is it Oreo and vanilla, Oreo uh-huh. and milk, or Oreo and white chocolate? Have I used all of my ask an audience? I, you can use another one. I don't really. Mind okay, making it up. audience, I have forgotten this. Please cheat immediately it's gone off it's i think it's gone it might not be on my uh, stories anymore i am sending a call to action for the people that archive phil's instagram stories this is the moment you've trained for okay save me what are the options vanilla vanilla milk or chocolate oreo Uh, and milk 
white chocolate. Cereal. It could be milk, milk flavor. Yeah. I was thinking. Why would they a... make milk flavored cereal when you pour milk on the cereal? Oh, that's the question. That's. I mean, maybe that's a trick question. Is this the red herring? Maybe. Or did you just it... not think about it? Maybe the next flavor is herring. Is it a red herring or did Phil just not think about it? It's honestly a decision that I have to make about 50 times a day in my moment to moment existence. Um, I could do a little cereal review, couldn't I? That would be fun. Uh, okay, here we go. Milk, 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 milk. <laughs> okay. That, wow. that was a lot of milk. <laughs> Rosalind is coming in strong. I'm going to lock it in so close to the end. Was it milk? Da, da, da. No. It wasn't. It was vanilla. Oh my god! You need to pay more attention to the cereal, Dan. That's why I don't share it with you. Well, we all know what happened last time you shared something Oreo related with me. Uh, don't... <laughs> god. Dun 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 dun. Uh, do you want question ten anyway? It doesn't mean anything. You can't be a billionaire. No. But someone in the audience could be a billionaire. So no, you they can fucking ask. won't. Are you kidding me? Have you listened to their but... suggestions for the last 10 minutes? <laughs> they will. You'd be like, in... hey, what's my name? And then someone will go, Bob. In my keep it or yeet it video, name two things that I yeeted. That you successfully That's... yeeted. <laughs> That's the final question for the audience. <laughs> oh, uh, do I even know this? Right, you didn't. Y- you were there. The... You were there when I did the video. You didn't eat help. the sloth because that was in the. You put it on my neck. But did you I? Didn't... Or did I? Maybe I just haven't eaten it yet. Oh God! Oh my God! So what? Someone in the audience gets the chance to be a billionaire, and I don't. Yeah, they can be the billionaire if someone just sends in two things that I eaten. But we need to get this it is soon. Discrimination. This yeah, is that's absolute the thing. discrimination right now. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who submitted a message, even though you screwed me and I will never be a billionaire. Thank you for tuning yeah. in. And you are a valuable part of my Thursday. And I you hope actually... that you're having a good night. What? You actually did better than I thought you were going to, Dan, actually. Um, you can have a fake bum flap onesie for your prize. Here we go. The weird pyjamas and the box... That's the correct. Box. You are correct. a billionaire. Yeah, the, oh. the wooden box. I didn't want the box. Wow, it's coming in with away. the knowledge. Where were you five minutes ago? <laughs> Congratulations, you are a billionaire. What does this mean for them? It's just a title that you can give yourself, but it doesn't have any value. But then you'll just go through nice life knowing that you're a billionaire. Because it's all about loving yourself internally and not the value of exchanging currency for goods or services. Yes. And also, you are the only billionaire because this is the only time I've done this game. That's a weird currency. I don't think that's going to be worth much. How many not think... billionaires is one euro? Uh, it's not a monetary thing. It's just a state of mind, Dan. Okay. That's the end of the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Phil. I that was amazing. That. Chris Tarrant found dead. Jeremy Clarkson quaking. ITV Quacking. have shit. Uh, um, that was that was epic. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, have we'll you think, managed uh, to live some kind of fantasy by doing that? I have. I really enjoy being the quiz master, as I think was apparent during that game. So thanks for <laughs> indulging well, me. And I'll think of another all, game. We next are week. all here for that. Well done, yeah. Phil. <laughs> thanks. Uh, okay. Well. I thought for the last little part of the show, we could do something that I did in my Phil and Friends yeah. uh, stereo shows, which is fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks. What I want you to do is submit a word. And that's mm. what you want me and Dan to talk about. It can be yep. anything. And we'll just have an improv chat about whatever we think about it. Try not to say a really long sentence, just like a word, like a, a, a jumping off point. Like fill bananas or dragons. Or how dragons feel about bananas. Yeah. What do you think the answer to that question is, Phil? Well, I know how... Um, what are they called? Possums dragons. think about... No, possums think about bananas. My YouTube algorithm has started giving me some great, really short videos. If you look for possums eating bananas, I'm a comment on that video uh, just saying thank you. That was, that was great. It sounds like rain. 
ASMR possums chewing things. Yeah, honestly, it sounds like rain. I found it really relaxing. And watching their little faces munching down on those bananas was just... Uh... Your idea of relaxing ASMR is opossums chewing bananas? Yes. It sounds what really is wrong nice. What with you? It sounds like rain. Okay, we've got our first one. Thank you, Sabre. Hedgehogs. Talk about hedgehogs. Thank you. Louis, that is an incredible topic. Hedgehogs are amazing. Can you believe that they're cute and you just find them in gardens in the UK? Do you know that's also funny because the other video I was recommended, which I showed Dan actually, was Hedgehog Slowly Waking Up. Oh, that was some good shit. Oh, it I was that. so good. It was so relaxing. Oh, shove that into my eyeballs. Just imagine being that, that, deep in my skull. that hedgehog. You're just in your burrow and then you're just like, oh, I'm going to uncurl now and look into the sky. And I'm like, all yeah. I need to do is maybe go eat a worm. It's a great day. If your YouTube algorithm is recommending videos of hedgehogs slowly waking up, you've made good life choices. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh, I always check when we used to have bonfires back on bonfire night for little hedgehogs. And also, I helped save a hedgehog when we were on a walk and it was near a, what was it called? Like a safari park nearby. And there was a hedgehog in need. So we went and told them and they went and rescued it and gave it some food. I thought you were going to be like, I saw a hedgehog walking near a safari park and it almost walked into the lion enclosure. So I had to save the hedgehog. That's where I thought you were going with that. That would be a better story. Let's just pretend that happened. Okay. um, Mm. So that's my thoughts on hedgehogs. As an animal, I'd give them a five out of five if I was rating them on like a ranking scale, like like an A tier at least. Whoa. All animals are valid. Yeah. No, no, you can easily mosquitoes you can easily rank an animal and a hedgehog is a tier okay we've got another one okay shapes in the clouds oh, oh. gay shapes in the cloud well if it, if the clouds said gay then they would be gay wouldn't they maybe maybe they're just saying yeah. gay but they're bi because people that are bi are allowed to be like i'm feeling very gay today and that's okay you don't need to get so worked up about words um uh, no what i was gonna say is when I was doing a video about being psychic, one of the methods of psychic divination was to go look at the clouds and see what the shapes mean. And that's mm. one of the things I was going to do in the video. However, London is not necessarily good for blue skies and clouds. You'll be like, wow, what do I see? A dense blanket of greyness descending upon... Oh, it's pollution. I am now going yeah. to die 20 years earlier. Psychic... Yeah predictions in london so <laughs> that that was basically not one that i did for the video though that was a fun video that something went wrong with the algorithm it was just like no one wants to see that phil can we talk about how every single psychic on that website where you talk to psychics had like um three wolf moon energy and they did they all had amazingly massive 80s hair they all had lion manes. Every single psychic. I don't know. There's clearly a type on these websites. Yeah. But they all looked like they peaked in the 80s. And their peak is still higher than our peak. Because their hair was absolutely massive. And they looked fabulous. But they, they did. I wish I, I, wish could have shared, I wish I could have shared their faces on the video. But I didn't, I didn't want to. Because I didn't ask for permission. So I just said, can I use your psychic words? And they were like, yes, of course. One of them was like, yes, darling. You're going to die in seven days. Oh, nice. Was her name Samara? Yes. Um, so I, I talked about my thoughts on this cloud thing. Do you think they can predict the future or do you just think they are randomly generated? No, Phil. I do not think that clouds can predict the future because I'm a cold, miserable scientific person that doesn't believe in anything. Even coincidences. Dan is always like, it's just a coincidence, even if it's the most coincident thing ever. Let's be clear. I believe that coincidences are exciting if they are rare. I do not think that coincidences are divine signals from the universe because I'm depressing. But yeah. I'm not knocking on anyone else's enjoyment of spirituality. I actually love and support that. And I think that yeah. it can be great for your mental health. But I am allowed to be a little sad rock in the corner, sending out positive vibes to everybody who does have big hair from the 80s. I think uh, Cloud is going to send a rock at you if you keep insulting their predictions. Cloud! Next one. Striped t-shirts. 
um obviously i i've invested <laughs> I, I need to disclose that i have investments in the concept of striped t-shirts <laughs> because i own about 17 uh don't know what that's about I'm trying to just live my parisian twink fantasy um yeah i look, I, got I had a, a jumper i had a jumper it shrunk in the wash so i bought another jumper i also had a t-shirt i got a sharpie on it so i bought another t-shirt and I think I have another one. Over 10 years, it looks like I've hoarded about 50. I think I only have two now, so it's okay. I'm not some weird mime that's not confident enough to admit it yet. I have partaken in a striped t-shirt, and it's one of... I think I got it as part of my viewers' pick my outfits. And I have started wearing it, and I like it. So maybe oh, joining, yeah. st- that, joining the what, striped crew. What outfit crew. was that part of? Cloudcore. It was it? part of Cloudcore, yeah, but it's just the, the t shirt. Um, could I be a Parisian twink or no? Not if you talk like that. Okay. Um, well, How much yeah, French I do might... you remember? I remember Est-ce qu'il y a une salle de jeu? Bonjour, je m'appelle Philippe. J'ai uh, 11 ans. J'ai uh, 100 ans, yeah. Uh, mine. No, that's German. That's about as far as I could get. I don't think I get. I don't. I don't think I get very far in, uh, in uh, France. Yeah. Party um, in France. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think. I, I think you would get further in France than I would get in France. I don't know if I've told this before, but my grandma used to speak to me in French when I was a child because my grandma speaks French just recreationally. And because she spoke to me a lot in French from the age of like zero to five, apparently when I was five, I spoke almost quite fluent conversational basic French. And we went on a holiday to France and I would just go around talking to people and like ordering things in bakeries. But then my grandma just stopped for some effing reason. And I didn't learn any French again until I was 12 in school. And I forgot all of it. Oh, what? You could have been so cool with your If you had a French... child that just randomly knew a load of French because your grandma was talking at it for five years, why would you just stop doing that? Imagine how interesting I could have been. I could have been yeah. interesting, Phil. You could have been Daniel with two L's. I could have had a useful skill as a human being. Alas, yeah. no. I feel like if you'd have done that, you would have moved to Paris and worn lots of turtlenecks. Uh, yeah, I have one turtleneck. Maybe I just need to spontaneously make the move after I get vaccinated. I think you Goodbye, should. Goodbye, Bill. Hello, Pierre. Okay, I think we should send one more in and then we'll do that. And then I think that'll be our, a good amount of filling in the blank. God, no pressure on this last person. What are they going to say? 69XD. I think they could. I mean, if they did, we would discuss that. Do you remember that S that everyone used to do at school? The slip, yes, the S. I can yeah. still draw that. Who originated the S? That is a true mystery of the ages, for sure. Like, where where did it come from? What was the origin of that single S? Where did it come from? Yeah. Where did it go? Cotton Eye Joe. Where did it come from? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. It's come through. It's come through. Talk about astrology. Ooh. Please. Thank you. Okay, right. So I'm going to say this again. I am cold and hard and miserable and scientific, so I don't believe in astrology. However, I completely support anyone who likes it and it does something for them. I am not a cringe atheist hater. If you like astrology, if you like being a little witchy lesbian, I love that for you. I think yeah. that's amazing. I support you. And to be honest, there should be more things in my life that I enjoy for spirituality for mental health or just for passing the time and being creating with or having a community so whilst i look into the deepness of the night sky and think there is nothing other than maybe some aliens that might vaporize us and the eventual heat death of the entire universe yeah as we slowly pull away from the big bang um you don't have to be like me and i don't think you should i'm not like you i think i kind of I, I kind of like enjoy it, so I like to believe it's true. Um, and oh, I love people... reading it. If someone tells me something, I'm like, yeah. thank you. I love I'm also, that. I'm also one of those people that, I mean, I can't prove it's not true. So I just think it could be true. So then I enjoy and that's it. that's the thing, Phil. 
If we're, yeah. we're going to end on the last topic, God, who are we to say what's not there? Yeah, because humans that's what I... don't know nothing about anything, and that um, would be well done. Someone Phil. told me that because of when I was born or something, I'm like an Aquarius Aquarius, so I'm like very Aquarius, whatever that means. Take that as you will. I'm like double Aquarius. Pour all the water on top of me because that's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. I think that's enough. Uh, thank you to everyone that's come to Phil Day. <laughs> uh, I enjoy doing the quiz. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, was... we've really been on an emotional roller coaster. Have... There. Thank you, Phil. I've had I've had a really fun little time here on my Thursday evening, and I hope anyone yeah. listening has had an enjoyable time too. Yeah, if you are listening and want to come back for more. If you're thirsty for more, you can come to our next show on Tuesday at 9 p.m. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow us both on Stereo because then you'll get a notification when we do go live. If you forgot or you're doing something else, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to tune in. And we're doing that giveaway where you could win a cube. You could win a cube. You could win some defective pajamas and other great gifts. (laughs) Please help us help us okay thanks for coming i will see you guys soon i hope you're all having a lovely evening i hope you're well take this vibe that i'm whispering slightly ominously into your ear and think i have this one vibe it's gonna be vibes see you on tuesday bye